Sheriffs in the area have been fighting against a drug epidemic in their counties. After meeting with the governor in May, they implemented plans to solve this issue. As News 13's Emma Riley tells us, sheriffs in the area have banded together in an effort to help their communities. In rural communities across the Panhandle, nearly every crime stems from the same source. Meth seems to be the catalyst of the majority of the problems that we have, all the way from our uh, uh, violence uh, as far as domestic violence and uh, our thefts and things like that is all tied back to, to the meth issue. Several local sheriffs are working hard to fight a drug issue that is having a major impact on their communities. Franklin County Sheriff A.J. Smith says they've been fighting since 2016. All these rural sheriffs are working really hard to stop this problem. Uh, if you go to Liberty County, you'll see they're working hard. Gulf County, Calhoun, they're all working hard, but still it gets back to uh, money. We need money to help us fight this problem. Um, we need technology, we need uh, bodies, you know, boots on the ground. In March, Smith met with 14 other sheriffs to discuss solutions to the meth epidemic. Each sheriff agreed it was their number one issue, so Smith requested the help of Governor Ron DeSantis to find a solution. Meth is coming to Florida from Mexico to California to Georgia and then down here. That's one of the ways it's coming. Each of the 12 counties were able to receive up to $50,000 from FDLE Commissioner Rick Swearingen from residual burn grant money to go towards solving the problem. Smith says he'll use the bulk of the money to pay for overtime to work the meth problem and use the rest for cameras to put around drug houses or to use as undercover technology. We need help. A lot of the money's going to opioids but not uh, and the big counties but nothing has been coming to the small counties as far as uh, helping us with meth. So the 50,000 we got is kind of the first step and I'm hoping there's more and we're going to continue to I'm going to continue to bring these sheriffs together as long as they're willing and meet and talk about these issues and maybe come up with some new strategies for for fighting the uh, you know stopping this meth epidemic in our communities. One of the ways the public can help is by downloading the sheriff app which allows you to submit tips anonymously. Emma Riley, News 13, Panhandle Strong.